So long vowels in Arabic are three. Alif, Waw, and Ya. The Alif will give us the long A sound. Waw will give us the long O or U sound. And the Ya will give us the E or the long A sound. To demonstrate how they sound in a word, I'm using the word kitab as an example for a. As you can hear it, kitab contains the alif long vowel, and you can see it as a letter in the word. Same thing applies to the following example, and that is zabun, and you can also hear it in the wow, zabun. Last example is samia. And you can also hear it and see it in the word, in the letter, ya. Yeah. Now, one important thing that you have to notice about these examples, and that is, each long vowel will be preceded by a short vowel of the same nature, meaning that the alif will be preceded by fatha, the wa will be preceded by dhamma, and the ya will be preceded by kasra. So, in our example, kitab, the ta, has fatha. And the second example, Zabun, the ba has Dhamma, and Samia, the Meme, has Kasra. It is also very important to understand the difference between long and short vowels. This is one of the most common mistakes that Arabic learners make. Notice how the pronunciation differs from the short to the long vowel. Kitab, Kataba, Zabun, Bun. Now, in the first pair of examples, we notice that there is a difference between kitab, long A, to kataba, a short A, the short vowel. Zabun and bun. Now, the short and the long one is also clear. And in the last example, samia and samia, the E and the E sound. So, the long vowels are alif, waw, and ya, and they have to be preceded by a short vowel of the same nature. So, fatha, dhamma, or kasra. But if anything else preceded these long vowels, we will have what we call a semi-vowel. This could only happen to waw and the ya, and not to the alif. And this happens when the fatha precedes the wow and the yeah. And in order to understand this a little bit better, we're going to use two examples to show this to you. The first example is Laun. The second example is Hussein. Now, in the first example, we see that the wow is preceded by Fatha and not by Dhamma, which what we have seen in the last example. So that's why we can't say laun because that's not the right pronunciation. But we have to say laun. And when we do that, the wow becomes a semi vowel. Same thing with the ya. And we see in the example Hussein, the seen has fatha on top of it. So that's why we say Hussein and not Hussein. So you have to be careful here that the wow and the ya can sometimes become semi vowels so the most important rules that we have to pay attention to are that long vowels are a o and e they are three in arabic and they have to be preceded by a short vowel fatha dhamma or kasra well and yet could act as semi vowels if they are preceded by fatha and now I'm going to give you a sentence to test yourself in how to use short and long vowels in the same sentence. After writing the sentence, I'm going to give you some time to pause the video and try to pronounce the sentence on your own. You're going to compare what you have pronounced to the way I'm going to read the sentence out loud. So the sentence reads, Kataba Ahmadu fi al kitaba walawana. Now, in this sentence, we see a combination of short and longer vowels. Try to detect which is which. The sentence translates to Ahmed wrote in the book and colored the pictures. In order to know which word means which, I'm using colors to tell you which is which. So, kataba means wrote, 
Ahmed, well, it's the same thing. Fi means in. Al is the. Kitab is book. Wa means and. Lawana means colored. Al is the. Suwar means pictures. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the end of the lesson. If you've learned something today or you like the video, subscribe, like and share the video for other people to learn from it as well. And see you next lesson.